Hello, this is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. In this video, we're going to show you some of the trades I did because today's a shortened trading day and the market closes at 1 p.m. And I'm just repositioning my portfolio for next week or weeks in advance. Before we begin, please like, hit the uh, uh, like button, please, and share with these videos if you want to help other people win with money. Also, if you have any comments or if you need some help, let me know what type of help you need. And I'll be glad to try to create videos just for you. Before we begin, as you can see, the market started off pretty good and it's then it hit red. You see the negative. So we'll see what's going to happen in the last trading uh, hour of the uh, day. And normally I like to record and, and do it live, but today I already did most of my trades for today. And I can show you what I end up doing and I'll talk through it. The first one is, you can see I had a EA, a, I had a cover call here, 134 strike price. I basically rolled it out and up. I moved it up $2 because it's in the money. And I collected another $0.80 cents in net credit. And if you want to see that, you see here's a chart. If you look at the last five days or even last month, it's been uptrending. So my cover call is already in the money and I'm just trying to put more cash in my pocket and collect a net premium or net credit. Next is the rocket. You see what happened? I had something expiring for next week at $21 strike price. It's a, this is a cash secure put. And you can see what I did was I rolled this out and down, right? Because in a in a selling of a put, I'm obligated to buy it at $21. I really don't want to own it. I'm not doing the wheel strategy, at least not yet. And you have to be careful not overpaying for it. So I'd rather just play it just for the premium. And I'll show you real quick what Rocket looks like. Rocket looks like this. It's downtrending. And if you zoom out a little bit, let's show you. You can see that Rocket is pretty much flat. Oh, here it goes. It was uptrending, and I really don't want to own it. So I just, you see, it was here. So I rolled it down, and I collected a premium there also. Visa, I did something interesting, but I'm not going to, I don't I don't have it here. But Visa, I actually moved it to a 207 recently because I had it at like a 215 or 202. 212.50 and for the most part visa was i made 90 some odd percent profit and i could have let it expire naturally today but i wanted to capture some extra premium so i rolled it closer to the strike price and visa in one sense it wasn't a really good move because visa ended up bouncing back up and it was above my 207.50 because you can see that it's up at one percent today up three dollars so what I had to do with Visa here is I rolled it out one more week, and you see I collected another net uh, premium. I moved up the, so I rolled it up, up, right? That's one bucket up, and I rolled it out one week, and I still collected the difference. So I still collected profit there. And that one was $75, $75 minus your commission, 74 bucks. And the rest, you can see, I did the same thing with Rocket because I own it in, uh, I own multiple Rocket uh, cash secure puts in, in my various portfolios. So with that being said, I'm just going to, today I'm just going to cap copy my transaction logs and paste it into my spreadsheet. And there you go. I'm just going to copy that into a spreadsheet. And here you go. I'm going to paste. Hang on a second. I got more. And let me copy this one here. I never copy today's trades. I do that tomorrow. And the 23rd, that was all that I had. Okay, I paste. This part you have seen me do. Whoops, I hit that in the wrong column. I like using different formatting for dates. So I'm going to use some editing. Okay, after I fixed everything, I think everything looks good. These are iron condors. I did a spread in a previous video with this EV, quantum scape. Everything else looks good. Riots and rockets are all cash curve puts. So everything looks good. 
final thing I do is fix this, fix the alignment, fix all the puts and calls. I like doing it using one, um, just one way to do that. You let the filtering do it so you can't do it wrong. And remember, some strategies, some strategies are puts and calls. Okay, that looks good. I think we're done here. So I go to the top, hit the save button, scroll here, and let's hit the refresh. And the month is almost over, and voila. So that's my result from yesterday. It was pretty good, I but I did write up, I opened some new iron condors on SPY because I closed them earlier. So that's what it looks like there. You go to the monthly data. Okay, let's just capture the values before I hit the refresh. So you can see how it changes. And here you go, hit the refresh button and there you go. I did a, yes, I did a, actually this was a credit spread. Um, maybe I should fix that and you see how that was a debit spread um, this was a credit spread that I'm doing on the QA so that's the numbers you see how it changed obviously this is offset it a little bit but here's how the numbers look now after yesterday's trade so you can see how the values increase with one more week to go and even next week I may be able to get this a little bit higher and the reason why is I do have some open iron condors for the SPY. I have another four contracts here that I need to close out because it's hitting my 22 day mark. My, I don't even know if this one's still valid. I, I don't I have to check if this is old or if it is I probably will. Visa's kind of weird. Visa's really hard to close at 21 days even though you open it at 40 because the volatility in the shares make it so that I don't generally hit my profit target until a little bit closer. But for SPY, I do. So I can um, close that next week, open a new one for, let's say, February. And what I would be looking at is SPY, I, I would need to open like a February 5th expiration for next week. What that mean is I may finish at four and a half, maybe 4,300 for the month. I don't really know yet. I have to see what happens in the market and that will close out my year. And I'll, you know, I'll be pretty, I'll be happy with that. As we roll into next year, I do want to spend some time to make some videos that I wanted to make. Some of those will be longer videos. They're going to be 40 minutes long, 50 minutes long, but I'm going to spend some time teaching and explaining the math and showing why some things are mistaught or misrepresented in the financial marketplace. And I like to teach so that you guys will have a better understanding of it. Keep an eye out for those videos, but this one will end. Have a Merry Christmas, and if I don't see you or you don't watch any more of my videos for the end of this year, have a wonderful New Year's, and stick with me. Let's try to win together with money. Let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. Have a profitable day.